Hey everybody. So I am here really fucking early, um, but this is a double movie weekend, so you guys can get double reviews for the channel. But this is a uh, first movie, and we're going to go see Shazam. I don't know if everybody will come back or anybody will come back and do the review. I'm seeing with Pat and a bunch of other people. Um, it might be, who knows, we'll figure it out. But initial thoughts, like on Shazam, now I'm not very familiar with the character, but the trailer has really interested me. So I really kind of wanted to see it. Uh, hopefully it's a, I don't know, I just hope that it's interesting. I've heard that it's kind of funny and it reminds some people of Chuck. And I remember starting Chuck and really enjoying it and with Zachary Levi, but we'll have to see whether or not it holds up to that or other and then they say that it gets dark at moments like a little too dark so i don't know i didn't read many reviews which i feel is good because i don't feel like i really need to know much more about the movie i want to go into it fresh especially since i don't know a whole lot about shazam in general i know uh horror channel with superhero movies but uh i really enjoy the movies that uh that are here so hopefully dc gets a hit Hopefully Dave really enjoyed this movie, um, and I, I hope that we all enjoyed the movie as well. And uh, well, I guess we'll see you back in a little bit uh, after we have seen Shazam. So uh, look for the rest of the car review soon. Why are she's complaining about her reviews, Pat? I know she is. It's, and it's, we don't bullshit for another 20 minutes afterwards because he has to run home to his wife. <laughs> Okay, it's true. Ten minutes it's true. <laughs> I do have to run home to wife, but though she's out tonight eating. Anyway, Pat, your thoughts? <laughs> I'm hoping for a fun-filled evening of entertainment. Shazam! Oh, I think Ray actually has a thought. He really doesn't want us to do just, the video. He just answered. I was about to say, I forgot what we're gonna say. Oh, Shazam! <laughs> Fuck you. Says Shazam. I'm like, that's right. What about you, Angela? I have no comment, but I'm expecting it to be funny. Oh, good. No comment. But it's funny. <laughs> Emily, supposedly. I'm excited for the snacks. Oh, snacks. Not Zachary Levi? No. All right, so I've got Pat. He's Woo, here. For an hour long video. For, yeah, an hour long video. Uh, so, yeah, so we just got a Shazam. Shazam! Shazam! Oh, but. Fuck, don't fuck my car up. Um, <laughs> his car insurance <laughs> cover lightning bolt this <laughs> turn into a superhero? Well, maybe this is enough so it dampens the sound so you can't uh -huh. say it and then out loud we're not going to get lightning on your chest. So, um,. Uh, right ahead, minor spoilers, because there's a couple of things that I want to say. I'm not going to spoil, like, the ending or big big plot points. There's just a couple of little scenes that I want to talk about, and because uh, this is such a, a mixed movie, like, for me, because there were some really enjoyable parts and stuff in it that I was just like, Meh. Yeah. yeah. But I overall, good. I agree. It was good. It, it was, was good. good. It, it was it was just like I felt like fucking Aquaman when I watched this movie. Not like really Aquaman, but like after I saw Aquaman, you I thought, thought you could talk to fish. After? Exactly. Uh, no, I thought Aquaman was a good movie, you know. But I just wasn't super excited about the way everything turned out. And it was the same thing here. I think uh, Zach Levi did a great job. I thought, but uh, there were some times where I was just like, uh. so. What what are your initial thoughts? Well, first off, I'm still going to say this right off the bat. I don't like the fact that they. Had a guy in the, the suit. It just looked like a bubbled up suit. Like it actually through the yeah. movie. Through the movie, it looked a little better than um, I initially thought it was going to look. But yeah. but overall, I, I still wish they would have got like someone just big and muscular to play the part. But overall, the yeah, I, I agree. He did a good job, and I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. There was a few things I I didn't like. Um, I can say without spoiling it, though, that's the problem. Yeah, well, that's what I said with minor spoilers. So if there's something that, that you really didn't like, if it's major, I don't know. Um, well, two things. One, the wizard dying, because the wizard doesn't die. Okay, then that's really early in the beginning of the movie. Okay, and then, the, then well, this would be towards the end of the movie that they brought the family in so quickly. I, don't, I, I didn't exactly like that. Yeah, that was... I see, I'm, I'm, I don't know a lot about Shazam, and I'm pretty sure they're banking on a lot of the moviegoers to not know what Shazam was. So Maybe. that's why they're bringing, oh, we can do something like this because, hey, you know, we don't know, or not a whole lot of people know about everything that's that's going on with it. Um, well, because that is a real thing. That no, is, I, it I is assume a real that thing it was. I was just like, it's just weird. To me, it was weird. So like, all of a sudden, it popped out. I think they stay as kids when, when, when the people he gave power to, they were still like uh, younger 
but whatever. like like was it the the question i guess that comes out of it is if you know what do they just say the same name that like, i don't from remember now on? I, th I thought it was it was like he he, he well he could share the power with people he considers family that I know for sure, but I think they they can't just yell Shazam and become. Oh, so he, he, has has to he has to pass on the power. pass it on. Yes. Okay. See, that makes a little more sense to me because then I was like thinking like, and and the fact of the matter is that they never gave him a real name. Like well, I thought eventually it'd be like, especially when they say the line, "Oh, that's a cool catchphrase," and I thought that maybe at the end of the movie they would actually give him a like call him Shazam, at some point. Yeah, well, I bet you in the next movie they will. The thing is, is his real he name is say Captain Marvel. Yes. Um, but, uh, obviously, I guess he slowly became... Like, when I first started getting into the character, I thought his name was Shazam. But then I went, oh, okay, his name's actually Captain Marvel. And then, But the fact that there's two Captain Marvels, obviously, one in DC and one in and Marvel, one Marvel, and then that movie came out, they weren't going to have... Two Captain Marvels at the same time. Personally, DC should have just said, fuck it, we're going to do it anyways. But, whatever. They could have. Um, but, I think, because he can say Shazam like, like uh, without turning. I think that they'll eventually show that he has the ability to do that without, like... Hopefully they do, because it seemed like the only How time you like, oh, what's your it? superhero name? Well, if I say it, I can't fight it, because then I'm going to pull the little boy. <laughs> I'm going to go back. Okay. Yeah, you so... Know, then, or, or, what's, this, what's the guy's superhero name? <laughs> Why, says, oh, oh, says, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you know... Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so, I mean, like, you, you, uh, you can say his name without turning. He, I think, he, you know, he, he's able to change that, but they obviously didn't do that in this movie, which I think they should. Um... And then, like the next one or whatever he's in next. It's definitely set up for a sequel. I'm, I, the, you guys have know they expect this to be a big movie, uh, even after they saw it. It's it's set up that way. Especially how they ended it. Especially yeah, especially how they ended it. But of course, they did end uh, Green Lantern in a way that it would have sequels, and Green Lantern's never had a sequel. Yeah, well, that so, movie was not good. Well, now this is a. This I, is a I thing can that's, watch it. It's watchable because of because of because um, of Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. I, I, and I don't think it's a bad movie. Um, but I really would have rather seen Dave, Sinestro. No. I know Dave really <laughs> likes it, but I oh, really, really would like to see. He does. Yeah, it's one of he, he does like it. Um, well, he is a DC fan. He is a DC, know big good, DC. He fan. wouldn't know good uh, oh. superhero movie. <laughs> but what I'm saying, is the, the guy that played Sinestro, Mark Strong, in that actually is the bad guy in this. Um, DC gave him a second chance, and I thought that honestly, that, he though, was the best part of the movie to me. Honestly, in let's go back to Green Lantern real quick. Sure. Through darkest day, through brightest night. Oh, um, I thought he was good as Sinestro. Honestly, no, I, and I, he, the was, he was one of was... the best parts of oh, the Green Lantern. Saying. Okay, yeah, no, but in this movie too, I think that this is a good villain. Yeah, I think that it, overall, it's he, he's well done. I, I, but this is one of my big big problems with the movie. Your gripe, my gripe, is that it gets a little too dark. Like. This, the, there's the scene with when he goes, he gets his powers and he enacts his revenge. It's a little bit too much for but, a lot of this. But the problem is, is that the, the, so much of this is like family friendly ish, like movie. And then we do that scene. And then we have the scene with the mom and like that crap. Well, you have to have a hero to have the tragedy. Yes, he's an oh orphan. Oh my God. But. He's you know an orphan, I mean? but do you need to do that? Yeah, because that's how he, he realizes that he needed that. The, the people he was around. I get it, but you could have done something different. You could have, but, you know. You know, it but it's it just, but, I just felt like it was so thrown in there, like, well, terrible. Real quick, Ugh. you were talking about the guy who played Sinestro and playing yeah. the bad guy in this one. You know, he's not the only guy who was in a DC, uh, affiliated with DC and was in the movie. Who, who was that? Glover. Uh, what's his name? Is it something Glover? Not obviously not Danny Glover. Um, Crispin Glover? No, uh, the the dad. The dad. The, the one oh, that was in the wheelchair. Oh, oh who is that? I, he I didn't was in recognize Gremlins him. Two. He was he the was boss. He in Gremlins Two. I, I honestly I don't. Anyways, I, he played Lionel Luther in Smallville. Oh, okay. See, I, I never watched Smallville, so I didn't connect the dots that way. And I don't remember him from... I don't remember him from uh, 
You Gremlins remember, he, 2. He was the boss. Remember he had... It's been a while since I've seen that, to be honest with you. Oh, my God, you. though. Um, what the hell is his name? Something well, clever. You're just, you're just I know that his much name. smarter than me, Pat. I know his name, but I can't... I'm going blank <laughs> on it. But I didn't realize he was going to be in the movie. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I think that... I, like I said, I think the casting was well done. I didn't even think the kids... The, I thought the kid that was, like, disabled was it Freddy was mm -hmm. going to annoy me and turned out that I didn't think the kid was that bad but it definitely gave me like an also, it vibe you know the the guy that's from the kid that's from Stranger Things yeah. like I got that vibe from it like okay we need to mix I just felt like there were so many things mixed too, together wasn't he? no he wasn't that's not the kid that that's not it. the same kid no that's not the kid from Stranger Things it's a different know. kid altogether fucking white people look alike <laughs> But I can say that because I'm part white. But yeah, well, we make one white person. I call him um, Hispanic. Yeah. So, but that was, those were like my little gripes. Like, when it was trying to be a little too, like, playful, family fun, I was like, okay. Like, I, I kind of wish it had melded a little more or made the transition a little more seamless from him, like, kind of realizing he needs to be a hero to the, you know the not knowing or from the not knowing and, and just discovering his powers like it feel, felt like that was really like like really family friendly and then all of a sudden it just like would take a turn mm -hmm. and then it would come back and be kind of PG-13-ish you know because they go ahead and say you know shit like four times and bleep out fuck and I'm like wait is this like what, 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 which one is this is, is this trying to be like teen friendly or was this trying to be like cutesy family friendly like it was? I think it's be or is it trying to be like I'm trying to almost get to R and be PG thirteen you know, because of what I'm doing with like the dark stuff. They're, they're trying to bring the kids in with how he's he's also like a kid. But here's the thing, like they haven't played when he's adult when he's Shazam, mm -hmm. Oh. When he's Shazam, he he's more of a kid than when he's actually Billy Batson as a it's fifteen true. year old kid. So it's it's just weird that you know he's more of a serious, deep voice. I mean, the motherfucker sounds sound like a man, <laughs> like his deep ass voice. Yeah, it's funny because I feel then, like you say Zachary Levi actually feels like his voice is higher than yeah. the kid that plays Billy uh, Batson. Batson, and and that's oh, the same too. Braxton. Like, uh, like Tony Braxton. Yeah, it's Tony Braxton time. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like so I feel like he, he was more, he acted more of a, like a little kid as Shazam than he as, as when he was actually a little kid. So that's, that that balance was off a little bit, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I liked it though. I did like it. I just, just like, it's, Captain Marvel's been always one of my favorite characters in DC. So like, yeah. I mean, if you want like a top five, or I'll give you top three, and because it's been changing, but Flash, Captain Marvel, and Constantine. <laughs> Oh, it's not Dylon, 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 and Dylon. No, those are my. Those are the five best rappers in the world. You're too close, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna choke a legend? Oh, but yeah, it, it's like I, I. And why you gotta fuck with Fat Man? You know, Gluttony here. He's getting the shaft the entire time. I did, I loved the way the Seven Deadly Sins looked. I thought that was the the work they did on those. They all look really badass. And especially when Gluttony opened up mm -hmm. and, like, you had the mouth and everything. And then what? which one was the, the devil with the wings? Um, Because Greed happened to be the one that had, like, four arms. I was like, yeah, why well, is Greed about like that? More hands to grab Yeah, things? I guess more hands to grab. Yeah, you make makes sense. Um, I don't know who the, like, demon-looking one was. Maybe it was Wrath? It could be. With a big, he's, they did say the big guy. I get it. The big guy's Wrath. And I, maybe that's... But I thought they all looked fantastic. Like, all seven of them looked... Well, you didn't really see Envy very much, to be honest with you. Um, I'm trying to think which one he probably but, was. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not... I don't think he's going to be Lust. No, Lust was the one with the, the tongue. long tongue. That made totally sense. To Fake ass him. <laughs> but, again, I really liked the design of them, and I liked the, the way that they were done. And even when they got into the fight, it was good. But, again, like, I feel like they kind of... I don't know. I want to say that they they busted their load with this first film if they were already setting it up at the end to be a sequel because this would be a good villain for like a sequel. I think. I think they well they they, they set up the who's probably gonna be the villain in the second one already by talking. Which his, his I need to ask villain. you at the end of it because I don't know since I don't know the comics I don't know who they're referring to. I can tell you right now. Well, we don't want to say it on the podcast. It's, like it, okay, it's, well, it's one of the secret I'm just scenes gonna say, at the end of it, not the podcast, but the video. Uh, no, but, no, it's at the very beginning when, when it, it's it, there's something at the beginning, but I don't, I didn't know about it right away. Okay, without without saying if so, if you don't want me to say, 
I'm talking about the part where Billy Batson first meets a wizard and he's explaining everything about how the sins got released. With okay, maybe I'm totally confused. On it, I know you see something in the beginning of the movie when when okay, his, the, his the, biggest... the, the the bad guy goes in there and you see something in a cage, and then he's missing when Billy goes in there. And that that thing is it pops okay, up again. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, so then there's there, there's something else that I just I'm not. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know mm -hmm. what the hell that that, that is. I'm gonna have to look that one up too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard the voice, I actually thought it was something else. I, it, I totally thought it was something else, and I, I would say that, but I don't want to say that here. That's the problem. That's what I'm talking about. No. no. So if you have an idea what, what was said at the beginning of the movie, go ahead and say that. Well, that's okay. So remember, he said I gave the power to someone once before, and he released the seven, seven, seven deadly sins to get his revenge. Yes. That is Black Adam. Ah, okay. Because Black Adam has the same powers as Shazam. But he, he's like, think of like, he, he's like, uh, the Flash is reverse Flash. He's just like, the he's, he has the same powers, but he's evil. Okay. So then that, that makes sense. And it also makes sense because Dwayne The Rock Johnson produced this movie. And they've all, they keep, they, they really? keep, yeah, he was in, is it Dwayne Johnson? I was one of the executive said. producers of this movie and, right during the well, end credits. And they've been talking about for years that he's going to play Black Adam. And he wanted to play Black Adam. Mm -hmm. So maybe we finally get him being a villain once again since he played in Doom. God, there's a lot of fat asses in Hayward. <laughs> they sure are. Oh, wait, I'm um, one of them. But whatever. Um, <laughs> but, I, I, like I said, overall, like I really feel like there's, there's two things. Marvel, not Marvel, DC is trying to maybe go down the Marvel path. Which in they terms should. Of, kind Swallow of, your pride. And just realize, kind of. well, I'm just saying, take a page. Like, I'm not saying yeah. copy the exact same no, no, thing. No, no, that, no, no, no. But this is this is a this and Aquaman are in steps in the right direction for DC. They're not like they they get they just aren't blending everything. I think well enough. And when they finally learn that magic of what the blend is, that's good. It's not well, like see, it's super dark okay, all the time. I don't. It, but see, DC is is a little. Well, Marvel can be dark too. And, I, and DC has always been darker than Marvel, and I get that, and I don't mind that. But it's the way they make the movie. I'm sorry, like Batman versus Superman it was just three hours of. It was just like, I mean, what, what do you want me to say? It's like you know, no, I mean? no, they no, dragged no. everything out. They, uh, you said they we had to see that Bruce Wayne's mom died. Yeah, exactly. Dad, mom and dad How many times do we have to fucking see them and, do the whole thing? Know, with and then Bruce the whole Wayne. thing is, your mom's Martha. Yeah, that that was when the the kid was playing with the two. I remember when he looked at the thing, he dropped them all. Martha, Martha. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like your mom's name's Martha. Yeah, Martha. The, oh, we're best friends now. Yeah. And like and that that whole thing was just. And I don't give a shit what anybody says. I'm gonna say it right now. Fucking Ben Affleck was a great Batman. Fuck you if you don't think so. Well, everybody's a to your opinion, but <laughs> but still, but, fuck you if you fuck don't you. think so. <laughs> no, he was, and I really wish he was still staying as Batman. I I think that he wasn't a bad Batman. He wasn't terrible. Uh, people just don't give. They want to have one specific thing. Everybody's fucking nuts up with Christian Bale's Batman, and which is a good give, Batman, and they, still, and they still fucking nut up to Michael Keaton's Batman. And they still fucking give him shit for Daredevil, but, you know, he played, I think he played I don't think he was Daredevil the worst thing fine. about Daredevil. Well, I think exactly, was it was somebody, the writing. Well, the writing in Elektra. Um, <laughs> Jennifer Gardner. Yeah, and what's his name? Uh, fucking Colin, a, Colin, Colin Farrell. Farrell's Bullseye. Yeah, I didn't, didn't like that at all. But anyway, this isn't about how Daredevil's terrible. Um, so what would you give this then like kind of as an overall rating for the film? So I feel like we're just going on about DC. <laughs> uh, first off, real quick, before I do give that, I want to say this. Every time I hear that song, we need a hero. All I can oh, think God. of is so short, short circuit two. That's true. I thought it was also in short circuit one. Mm, oh no, well, you're the right. Was on the after they beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And then he came back and he's like, Oh, they, you know, don't make me obsolete or make you obsolete. And he goes like all he's got the punk mohawk. rock and shit. Yeah. yeah. And he's Anyways. going on the docks and he's firing all the people. Anyway, hey, back in time, guys. Short circuit. Yeah. Two. Anyways. Anyway, so what's your <laughs> what's your rating? Um, I'm gonna go. I was gonna go a little bit lower, but you know what? I'm gonna go four wizards turning uh, dying from Thanos snap out of five. All right. And I'm going to go three lightning hands, lightning hands, <laughs> fucking stuck in my head. Here's the problem, talking about that. As much as they showed him going, here, I got lightning hands and fingers. How many times did they use that power he, and ability? He barely used, he used it in once. The fight. Once. Yeah. Once. And that was 
to do one of those stupid superhero mashup things. I'm sorry if this is a spoiler. You know, when the two superheroes, they, they come out and they crash? Uh -huh. that, like fucking Dragon That's Ball or some shit. That's yeah. the only time that he fucking used it. And he, oh, oh, I would I would say another thing of, of, of using it, but... Well, that that's a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, that, but the, the you know the, the the hints of Batman, the hints of Superman, and, yeah. and, and you know, and all that. That's that was also really play, good play that they did that. The good that yeah. they did that. But you you may have seen. I think they did it in the trailer when he grabs the Batman doll and throws it, and it was fucking Kevin Conroy's voice. Yes, which I was fucking like I also that. excited. How, how caught I, that? I even said it out Batman. loud. I'm like, it's fucking Kevin Conroy. <laughs> Get him, Batman. I looked at you. I was like, oh, you can't see me. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I guess that's it for this one. So uh, we're pushing an hour. Yeah, we're we are pushing yeah a whole eighteen minutes. Inside Actually, it's one of the longer ones that we had. Um, so without that being said, Pat, quit uh, promote yourself, or you can wait till the next review because that's going to come out pretty soon too. Oh yeah, but no, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and IGTV at Paranormal Pat Six Four. You can go to my YouTube channel, which is Paranormal Pativity Podcast, and uh, it's the same as the IG. It's movie reviews similar to this, but I, less spoilers. Yeah, and, I like to spoil. Yeah, and then you know, of course, <laughs> iTunes and Spreaker and Spotify. Yeah. I can't get on the Google Play because you oh, we can't verify your email address. Fuck you, Google. All right, can't verify his fucking email address, even though it's probably an at Gmail address. There, ah! there went the lights. Lightning hands. Lightning hands. Oh, there comes the lights back on. You can turn on, open the door. Uh, so we'll we'll cut that out. But we were saying goodbye Aww. anyway. So deuces, deuces.